Hello, Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here, president of INO.com and co-creator of Market Club with your video update for Thursday, the 15th of August. First it was Carl Icahn, and now it's George Soros jumping on the Apple bandwagon. We've been on this bandwagon for some time. It's working out really well. We'll be covering Apple today. But we've also had the pullback in the other markets that we were talking about, plus crude oil's on the move. So watch, let's watch that very carefully. Let's go right to our portfolio. We're going to zip through these pretty fast today. So here's Apple. You can see all of our trade triangles are green, positive. And if you look at the chart, obviously it's a very positive chart. We can see this market going up to the 550, 575 without too much trouble. And it's particularly interesting when you have the stock market, the general market down quite dramatically, and yet Apple is pretty much flat to higher on the day. So let's see how that plays out. But generally speaking, we're bullish on Apple and we've got some good company with Carl Icahn and also George Soros. So moving on to our next market, and that's going to be the Dow. Now we expected the Dow to pull back. You can see the differences in the MACD below the line there. We expected a pullback. There was the weekly that came in here to get out of the market. Remember we talked about that several days ago, about a week ago, about getting out of the market in terms of the Dow stocks. And that's worked out very well. So let's quickly put in our Fibonacci numbers and see where they come in. So right now, we're getting close to a 51, 50%, 151 is 15,100 is a 50% pullback, and 15,000, let's call it for one of a better word, is a 61%. So I think we're getting very close to an area that we're gonna be finding some good value, but we need to see this market stop going down and begin to consolidate. Right now, we have a mixed picture, 60. It's a trading range, so let's give it some time. Moving on to our next market, we had a signal in the S&P 500 today. It's right here. You can see it came in at 1676. It's 1664. That's why we had a lot of pressure. It's the first time we've had this come into the S&P 500. So let's see how that plays out. But moving along to our next market, which is the NASDAQ. A little bit of a bite out of Apple today. But generally speaking, this is still a pretty positive picture. Our major triangles, the monthly and the weekly, are still positive. We are still positive on these indices as the longer term trend appears to be positive. We're looking for this market to be sideways to maybe a little bit lower for the balance of August. So moving on to crude oil. Crude oil is putting in, this would be the fourth or fifth day. It's been moving higher. Obviously, the situation in the Middle East is very tenuous at best. We don't seem to have any kind of handle on the situation there. And if we take out these highs, which are right here, this is really going to blow through the market. And I think that's something we really want to be concerned about. If we go through those levels, we're going to see gas go much higher than the talk will be. Well, kill the economy. So there's the key level right there. That's right around, I want to say right around the 108 level. Uh, and I think, so I would say a close of a 108 is really going to push this market really generate fast, fast move to the upside. Watch the MACD too. A crossover there is going to make a big difference. So let's go to our next chart. And the next chart is going to be gold. Now it's interesting. George Soros was getting into Apple, but getting out of gold, his ETFs. He had a large ETF holding, which he's really been jumping out of. It hasn't performed anywhere close to what everyone expected it to do. So again, it gets back to these trade triangles and the trends. Intermediate term trend is positive, longer term still negative. Watch this long term trend, it's very important. Moving on to the euro, the euro basically is coming down from the 134 level. Remember we talked about this level being a really important level right around here, this just not good. That's a lot of resistance above this market. Now, should we see the market go over there? That's a different picture of right now. You've got the MACD right here looking a little bit soft. We expect that to continue down, and we expect to see some consolidation and some support coming around about the 132 area. So let's see how that plays out. The 132 level, for those of you watching right now, is right here. So we're getting down towards the lower range of this market, but um, nonetheless, on the defensive, and that's how we see it. Hey, I'm Adam Hewson. It's a short report. We'll be back tomorrow. We're doing a bigger report. And the question is, do you want to be long Apple going into the weekend? We'll be talking about that tomorrow. So have a great day, and I'll be back tomorrow. Take care. You can find Adam Hewison as a regular contributor on Bloomberg, Business News Network, CNBC, and Fox Business News.